Hi, in my tutorial entitled Making Powerful Visuals from Your GIS Data, I talk about how to make histograms as well as scatter plots and pie charts that can be exported on your own or integrated into your maps. You can see what I'm looking at here. I've got a GIS data layer of tracks through, through my uh, ArcGIS projects, and I have a couple of attributes. I have ACS total population, ACS total households. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to export screenshots from your ArcGIS or perhaps a web page and integrate those into some of your work. What I'm looking at here is just ACS population. This is, stands for the American Community Survey. I've got 119 census tracts in Guilford County. You can see some are relatively small in size, some are much larger since since census tracts try to encapsulate approximately the same population. So essentially, the size of these census tracts is going to be a function of both population and population density. What I want to look at here is I can right mouse click and you can see that I can do sort descending, sort ascending, advanced sorting, summarize, which wouldn't be useful, and I can look at statistics. And when I look at the statistics here, I see a very rudimentary histogram right here. It doesn't have a, have a, a lot of uh, things that we can change on it. That's why we can make powerful visuals by going through our view and reports. Over here, I also have a count. I have a count. I have a min, a max, a sum, a mean, a standard deviation. And what I want to talk to in this, in this particular tutorial is how I can just take a screenshot of this and bring this into a PowerPoint presentation or a Word document. Now, in order for me to do this, I need to hit the print screen button. On my computer here, I have print screen, and in this case, I need to hit, in some cases, you need to hit control. On my computer, it's up next to the function keys. It's the first key from the function key, and when I hit print screen, I'm going to copy it to my clipboard. Okay? And what I want to do right here is I just want to capture this particular count, min, max, mean, encapsulate this and insert this into a Word document or a PowerPoint presentation. I could do the same thing with my histogram as well. Now what I need to do is I've just copied this to my clipboard. I'm going to open up something like Paint. I have my Paint application right here. And I'm going to hit Control V, which is Paste. Okay. And actually you can see what I have here. These are you know, these are all the screens that I have right here, but you can see this particular screen that I have in the project that I'm working off of. And now from here, I can go to select and just select the particular part of the screen that I want to do. Okay, so you can see that I've highlighted this. I'm going to hit Control C. And now I can bring in a Word document or a PowerPoint presentation or wherever I want to insert it. And I can insert my graph or whatever I want. And I'm going to hit Control V. And then I've inserted that particular screenshot right there. Okay. So this is fairly simple to do. You typically want something like Paint where you can insert it onto the canvas. And I'm going to hit File, New, Don't Save. Okay, because all I did was just use it as a screenshot here. So now something that was sitting on the screen I've placed into a Word document, or I could put this just as easily into a PowerPoint presentation or whatnot. We can do the same type of thing for web pages here. Okay. I'm doing a presentation, since we're talking about census tracts, I'm doing a presentation on census. Okay. I can hit Control plus to increase the size, Control minus to decrease the size on my web page. Because what I want to do is, well, I want to support my census research that I'm looking at through my census ACS data. And I want to bring in this particular headline that you know supports my that supports what I'm trying to do. I can do the same exact thing here. Okay, now I want to make sure I ensure the size is fine because it's just a screenshot. Okay, I'm not saving the web page, so I'm not going to save anything down here, but I want to save this title, the date, and maybe the first uh, the first paragraph or so, I can do the same exact thing. I'm going to hit print screen on my computer here. Control V. 
and now I can see this screen here. Okay, and now I can do the exact same thing. I'm going to do select. Highlight this, and, and I can highlight these in a number of different ways, but I'm going to hit Control C. And I'm going to insert this into my Word document too. Okay, so now I've inserted this. I can do the same exact thing. PowerPoint presentation. I can insert this into my PowerPoint presentation or whatever I'm trying to do. Okay. So you can see if there's something on the screen that I like, whether I'm doing some sort of GIS tutorial or just want to show a section of this or just no, show a, a snapshot of my table of contents as well as my map, I'm able to do this using the print screen and then I can bring this into a canvas or clipboard, bring this into something like paint and just select out the portions of this screen that I want to do and insert it into something that make powerful visual products.